The swoon theory. This is a hilarious one. Um, this is the idea that Jesus did not die on the cross, but he fainted. He swooned. Um, he was unconscious. His followers assumed that he was dead, apparently so did the Romans, um, and they buried him. A few days later, in the cool of the tomb, this is also called the cool tomb theory, um, the cool tomb, the cool air of the cave revived him. And either he or his followers, that varies from version to version, moved the stone, good luck, um, and then declare a miracle had happened. I'm alive! Uh, I'm actually just going to quote the doctors on this. Um, the American Medical Association did a study of this a few years ago, and wait, long time ago, 1986. Um, and in the Journal of American Medicine, this is what a group of doctors said. It said, clearly the weight of historical evidence indicates that Jesus was dead before the wound to his side. He wasn't playing possum on the cross when they put a spear through his side. Um, through his side was inflicted in the, uh, in the supports the traditional view that a spear thrust into his right ribs probably perforated not only the, up, the right lung, but also the pericardium and the heart, thereby ensuring death. Accordingly, the assumption that Jesus did not die on the cross appears to be at odds with all modern medical knowledge. The idea that he just went unconscious despite getting stabbed and then the blood and water comes out the side is at odds with all medical knowledge. In other words, he wasn't playing possum. He wasn't unconscious. He was dead. He was dead, most likely of a heart attack, basically. His engine overheated because he had no oil, i.e. blood. Problems with the swoon theory, okay? Scourging alone would be enough to kill you. Crucifixion alone would be enough to kill you with, from the blood loss and just the pure physical trauma that you go through. If you've watched Passion of the Christ, you, you kind of get an idea of what I'm, where I'm going with that. And again, Pilate asked for verification. So Pilate's like, are you sure he's really dead? Let me go check. Hey, centurion, go see if Jesus is really dead. So Pilate thought he was dead. The centurion who crucifies tens of thousands of people a year thought he was dead. Jesus would have had no food, no water, no medical treatment for three days. Okay? Um, he's pierced in the wrist, the feet, the side, the lungs, the heart, the spirit. The guy's got trauma all over his body. More importantly than that, he wasn't in a cool tomb. He was wrapped up in 75 pounds worth of bandages, spices, linens, myrrh. He, if I wrapped any one of you who is healthy in that much, 75 pounds of pressure on you, you would pass out from heat exhaustion and suffocation, let alone someone who's gone through all the trauma of scourging and, and the cross. It just doesn't work. Okay? And then just the pure medical fact. He's lost all that blood. His blood pressure is very low. So what's going to happen? Normal medical things that would happen to you and I. His body will go into hypovolemic shock, which would later have led to pericardial effusion, pleural effusion, which is basically when you get a fluid around your heart and around your lungs. Hence why when he stabs him, John's not a doctor, it's mostly water, but it's got proteins and other things in there, in that fluid. So when he's getting stabbed and John sees the blood and water coming out, yeah. But when a doctor looks at that, he sees that stuff. 